Good morning. Now, in this video, it's a bit, bit of a strange one because I wanted to share something which I'd spotted on Facebook and a couple of people have shared it and I saw it last night and kind of slept on it. And this is one of those videos where I'm, I'm just interested in your opinion. Does that make sense? So, Finwin, Finwing technology, we know for a very ugly model, um, but they had the Traveller plane uh, a couple of years back and the Olber Bird, which I need to put my hands up, I have kind of bought and uh, I've looked on Passive Force and it's in transit. So, fingers crossed, touch wood, that it will be here in this week with, with any luck. And I'm not going to go into the topic of the binary. Uh, so, but it is right, I, I, I caved in and I bought the Olber Bird. Anyway, Finwing and these connectors. I, I was thinking about, it. so if you don't know what these connectors are, the idea is, is that you fit them inside the wings so that you really do have like this transportable model which you can connect up and it will power your ESC servo, video transmitter uh, and other bits and bobs. Now I did see that they were using originally the uh, serial or VGA connectors which is, they're, they're proven, how many times have you had a monitor problem because you've worn out the connector on the on the VGA lead, however these look, do look like they're fake gold plated uh, but they, they could have some form of longevity to them and you'll see what and again just the photo on the screen you'll see that they've got the VTX servo uh, and ESC so you've got three minimum of three connections for the VTX three connections for the servo uh, and two powers and then three for the and another three which I probably need to write down so what did we say we said three for the servo didn't we three for the servo Three for the ESC, assuming that it's got a back in it. I know it might only just be two. Uh, and then three for the VTX and uh, two for the power. So we would expect to see nine and then two big ones for the power. So we go back to the image. And that's exactly where we've got. Yeah, we've got three server style connectors. And of course, remember the ground line is we, we could, if you wanted extra things in the wings, well, you could go from nine and then reduce, well, because you only need three signal, you could reduce that down to five uh, because you've got your three signals uh, and then positive and ground. Uh, although the VTXs probably won't take five volts, so maybe that's six. So you've got potentially three extra pins to use if you had other things in your wings. Uh, so, yeah, th th I, I, know, I know I'm rambling a little bit but I, I feel like it's important for me to talk this out and to share it with you because I'm like I said I'm interested in your opinion of these is because my first impression was that oh that looks really pretty but I'm not sure I would use it or not want it in a model but then the mind got thinking and this is like the logic which I'm trying to share with you which is that then my mind got thinking, well, what's different to me using an XT60 connector? Because if the connection's good, the connection's good. And then why, why, why am I being concerned? Maybe it's because it's in the wing connector itself, and after an extended number of uses, we'll say 50 uses, is that we might run into to a bit of a connection issue with on there. But then, in reality, 50 uses is that it's on there, the worst case scenario. What I think the bit which I'm being perhaps being a little bit cautious about is that if we weren't using these connectors and instead we're using servo connectors and a, like an XT60 connector to connect the ESC up, for example, is that God forbid the wing fell off, is that all came loose, it would, the, those wires have got some give in them. Whereas that a connector like this is that if, if even if we have a little bit of movement in the wing, the wings separating from each other could uh, remove the uh, connection for the wing, which obviously would be highly detrimental because in worst case you would lose power to the motor or servo or surface uh, or or worse, the VTX or something like that. But then in the reality, if you look at those pins, they're probably uh, five millimeters long. So that is quite a lot of movement. And I don't think we would experience that in flight. And again, uh, I wonder if we can see the fix. And again, you have to excuse me. I, I don't know what the fixing me mechanism is for the Olba. But yeah, it looks like there's a plywood base there. So that it would be screwed onto the wing. So maybe I'm worried about nothing. And th that's my question to you. Would, if you had these connectors, uh, and the desire to set them up in a model which you wanted to be transportable, would, would you use that? That, that? Let me know what you think in, ab about these in, in the comments section underneath this video, because my first reaction was, oh, I'd probably not do that. And then as I was typing away the reply in one of the Facebook groups, I was thinking, well, actually, is it that bad? 
And I, I think the answer is, no, it's not. And I think it would probably work, and it would probably work quite well. The reservation I would have, and I'm, I think you may have as well, uh, would be around the just ensuring that the wing stays fixed to the model. And if that was good, remember that there's no pulling for it. There's, there's no real forces trying to pull the wing off a model because the wind's always blowing against it, if it makes sense. The, the, the wings don't fall off. They're not being pulled off and whatever mechanism there to hold the wing on is normally just needs to be a screw of some form just to hold it on uh, or an elastic band like we see underneath the drap for example we've just got the clips on so am i just worrying about nothing is this a good idea questions answers over to you let me know what you think in the comments section underneath this video very very curious for a monday morning uh, so with that said love to hear your feedback i'm off have a great week for myself matt cheerios